Hey everyone, it's Rochelle here with Losing It on Keto. And um, in this recipe video, what I'm going to do is I am going to make, um, well, ultimately I'm going to make beef and noodles. But what I first need to do is I need to prepare the noodles. And now, um, for those that have been watching my uh, videos over the last month, um, you know that I recently switched protein sparing modified fast protocols from an ideal protein style type version to one that's called precision um, based on Dr. Carl Goldkamp and Judy Goldkamp from Keto Naturopath. And so I switched to this over the course of the last month. And while they call it precision protein sparing modified fast, and I don't think I've ever labeled it as such, but in reality, what it is, is carnivore protein sparing modified fast. So there's no vegetables on this. So you guys know I've done a beef and noodles um, recipe on the prior PSMF protocol where I could have four cups of low carb vegetables a day. Well, on this protocol, I can't. So I've been thinking about those recipes and how can I adapt them to fit this current way that I'm eating. And, um, and I've recently been making uh, crepes in different, in different um, you know, uses. So I've made a version of it as a, um, as a bun for my hamburger. I've made a version of it um, for, uh, for my um, creme brulee you know, a variation of that. And, uh, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that same type of recipe and make noodles out of it. So it's, it's a very versatile, um, recipe that just requires a tweak or two here. But my intent is to do this and replace this for the heart of palm noodle, uh, to make this carnivore PSMF compliant and indigo Neely at her channel, she's the one who, who did this, and I'm going to attempt to apply it to my recipe, the, the beef and noodles. So let's do the first step here in the next segment to uh, make the noodles so that we're ready for, for the recipe. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now rather than using a griddle or the electric skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and use, use this pan here um, I'm going to start with getting the pan hot. I'm going to cook it on uh, medium high temperature. So we've got the pan going while I prepare the, um, the batter. So Indigo says that you need, um, she said, if you're using liquid egg whites, which is what I am doing, you need um, a little bit less, like three quarters of a cup. And so I'm curious to know, because for the crepe recipe, it's measured in grams, it's measured in how many egg whites. So there's a little bit of a change up here in terms of uh, the measurements. So I am uh, checking what is the weight of three quarters of a cup of uh, carton egg whites. Okay, I'm gonna need to get another carton here. Hopefully I have one. No, I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get that. Okay, let me do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, three quarters of a cup of carton egg whites is approximately 182 grams. Okay, and then to this, we're going to add um, two tablespoons of beef gelatin. Okay, so here's the three quarters of the cup. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm getting the beef gelatin to add two tablespoons. If 
This is pasture raised grass fed uh, beef gelatin. So here's one tablespoon, drop that in. Here's the second tablespoon, drop that in. And let me, I don't want my pan to burn, so I just move that off while I'm preparing this. Okay, now I'm going to use my frother. You can use an immersion blender, but I find this pretty convenient, so I'm going to use my frother here to uh, combine this. Oop. I love this thing. I know I keep saying that, but I do. I mentioned that I was going to look for an electric one because when I ordered this, I thought it was electric. I haven't got around to doing that, though. And I did notice, um, I think I showed you the box of the other one that I had. I did notice that that had a lifetime warranty. So um, I should have, when that crapped out, I should have contacted the company to let them know that it did. But I wound up ordering this one instead, and it's a little bit more powerful. So, all right. So we've got the mixture prepared. So remember, that was 182 grams of, uh, of carton egg whites. Put the pan back on. And now I'm doing it this way because um, when Indigo made her... her um, her crepes for the noodles she used a crepe pan which is thinner than this but it's a round pan that looks like it's approximately the same size as this so I just thought hey this this uh, frying pan should should work so we will give it a try and I'm just looking at what tools I may need to flip this and um, based on how she did it, she did this in three, just like we have done before. So that's my intent here. Um, she used nonstick spray, so I guess, I guess I should, even though it shouldn't be necessary. But I'm going to go ahead and use this avocado oil spray and just give this a quick spritz. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pour the, pour the batter in. And you want to make sure your pan is hot because it makes a mess if your pan is not. And I can tell you just looking at this, I don't think I'm going to get three out of this. I think it's going to be more like two, but we'll see. But the bottom line is it's the same, same recipe, same amount. Um, and when you put this in here, you want to make sure that you don't have any thin parts because that'll tear. But I, I'm liking the way this looks. And now what I'm looking for to know when it, it's ready to flip is to have those, those ear pockets that you get um, when you make um, pancakes. Let me adjust the, the camera so you guys can see this a little bit better. I think that's a little bit better. So I think this might be ready to flip. Let's give it a, let's give it a try. Because one of the things that uh, Neely says is she doesn't want to cook these as long um, as compared to, say, if you're having it as a crepe. Oh, nice. And then by using this pan, not that I need to, but you see that I've made some misshapen um, crepes. So this allows it to keep its, uh, keep its form. As a, as a circle. 
So I'm going to get a paper towel because I've noticed there's a little bit of moisture when I make these. So I'm going to put this on a plate with, um, with a paper towel to absorb any moisture. And this is ready to go. Okay. We'll do the next one now. And I think I'm only going to get two out of this. So I'm going to use a little bit more nonstick spray. Let that heat up a little bit more. And let's take the, the rest of the batter here. Okay, and let's swirl that around. And I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Shouldn't take very long at all. This is ready to flip. Perfect. And give that about 30 seconds to a minute. I'm going to get another paper towel to put on top of this one for when we take this off. This is ready to go. Okay. Move this. Okay, let me let this cool and then we'll come back and I'll show you how you cut these into noodles. Be back in the next segment. Okay, guys, these have cooled. And while they were cooling, just as another tip, I've mentioned this before, while I was waiting for these to cool the cut, I just, I cleaned the, the pan that I just used and the measuring cup that I just used and the, the spatula I used to flip. And in no time, the kitchen is clean and the, the items are put back. So it's just so easy if you just clean as you go while you're waiting for things like something to cool, etc. But anyways, here we, here we have the two, okay? And I think I'm going to keep these separate because what I don't know is how much protein I'm go am I going to want for my beef and noodles um, recipe. So I'm going to keep these two separate because right now I know it was 182 grams. So that means this is 91 grams of egg whites and one tablespoon each of gelatin. So it's very easy for me to know what this recipe just made and portion control if I keep these two separate, okay? So I am going to cut, um, cut them separately. Now, what I've seen, what uh, Neely has said is the best way to do these is to roll them up and then cut them. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not sure which knife is the best for these. So I've got... I've got three knives here. Um, I think I may try this one that has a little bit of a, a serrated, serrated edge. I know I want a little bit 
of a thicker noodle. So I don't want to cut them too thin like she was trying to do um, for, say, a, a noodle soup. And these still have a little bit of moisture in them. And I was contemplating putting them in the air fryer for like a minute or two. Um, and given the moisture in them, I think I may do that. Because I think I want to dry them out just a tad. So let me, let me, hmm, I'm debating. This is what I've got so far. Um, I'm debating here. Let, well, let's just keep going. Um, one thing that may be helpful for you, I like homemade items, but I also like to bring to you, um, convenience items in case, you know, you don't like to do this. You're not good in the kitchen, etc. even though this is super easy. So rather than making these, what you could use is that in, 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 you know, if you're going to do like a carnivore PSMF or just carnivore in general, whatever way of eating, um, rather than making these, what you can do is you can buy those egg life wraps we've talked about before in the store. And it seems like all grocery stores have them now. Um, you can get those and roll them up and do exactly what I'm doing with these. I just, I like things homemade. I like to control the quality of the ingredients that I'm using. Okay, one more. And there's one batch of the noodles um, for one. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer them back onto the, uh, the paper towel. Because like I said, there is a little bit of moisture. But that's one serving. And now this is, well, that's one crepe. I don't know if that's going to be a serving or not. I'm going to decide that when I figure out how much, how much protein for the meal. But from a portion control standpoint, I at least know how much each of these are. And that's where the frying them in the pan was handy because um, that allowed me to make, um, you know, pretty much equal size uh, crepes without having to worry about weighing or measuring when I was pouring the, the, the batter out. Versus, say, using the, the griddle. Okay, there we go. All right, so the next segment, I'll come back when I'm ready to put the, the meal together using these. So I'll see you back then. Hi hey guys. Okay, back in this segment, I'm ready to assemble the beef and noodles. So what I have in the skillet here is a half a cup of bone broth. This is the fond one that I'm particularly fond of. And I have a half a teaspoon of um, konjac powder, glucomannan, glucominin, however you pronounce it, to uh, thicken it up. So that's what I have here. Now, I've got the serving. I'm going to use one serving. So what I made was two servings. So I've got one serving of the, um, of the noodles. And I've already half-baked my burgers. And I'm just going to crumble that into the uh, beef broth here. These are four-ounce patties, so I'm going to do two. And then, um, and then I'm going to pour this over the noodles. And right now as, we're, as I'm making this, I've got the air fryer going with the other serving of noodles to see what they're like if I dry them out a little bit. So one of the things I looked at is uh, Neely had made hers, when she made the egg whites, she made them with fresh egg whites rather than carton. And... The carton has 
um, more liquid to them. So I think the next time I'm going to make these, I'm going to make them with, um, with fresh egg whites because I like the way her texture is in the look of those better than, than these because these have some moisture in them. So anyways, as soon as I'm done crumbling this, I'm going to check the air fryer to see how they're, um, how the, uh, the noodles that I have in there, one of the servings is, is coming along. What I don't want to do is I don't want to make crackers out of them. So let me give this a stir. I'm going to add some seasoning to this in a second. And then I want to, let me go get the, let me go get the noodles. So this is after about seven minutes in the air fryer. So it did take the moisture out of them versus these here. So now I've got to decide which one am I going to use? I may just do a little bit of both and, and report to you how, how that worked. Okay, I'm going to let this keep cooking. I'm going to add a little bit of steak seasoning spice to it. Cook the meat a little bit more. And while that's cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit um, of each noodle. So here I've got kind of half and half on the noodles. So these obviously are the air fried ones, these are not. So let me set that aside here. This is all cooked through. So now I'm going to serve this up and turn this off. And let me get a spatula. Okay, let's see what we've got. I'm going to anticipate needing some salt on this. Add some pepper. All right, so I'm going to try I'm going to try this with each of the noodles. <clears throat> Okay, so over here on this side is the air fried ones. And then this is super hot. I really like how that konjac powder um, created more of a gravy with the with the beef bone broth. I like that mouthfeel. All right, now let's try it. Mmm, that's a good flavor. All right, let's try it with the uh, noodles that I didn't air fry. So here we go. Yeah, that's good. 
That's good. It's almost like having bread that's been sitting in a gravy. But it's, it's a really nice flavor. But I think I like the crunch of ear frying the noodles, I have to say. Mm-hmm. I like the texture of air frying the noodles. This could use a little more salt. Anyways, guys, there you go. Um, I'm kind of getting my sea legs with this carnivore PSMF. Because uh, originally I didn't think I could come up with too many recipes. But now as I'm starting to think... Um, of how I can replace some of the vegetables with using these egg white crepes, etc. Then, uh, then the possibilities are kind of opening up for me. So, this is one such recipe. Well, oops, good catch, huh? Um, we're replacing the hearts of palm with this and not adding any protein powders, so no keto chow in this. Um, using the beef bone broth with a little bit of thickening agent um, with the konjac powder, the glucomannan or glucomannan, however you pronounce that, how that works. So there we have it, a beef and noodles on my carnivore uh, protein sparing modified fast a.k.a. Precision PSMF. That's all I've got for you. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.